All right, guys, they're playing some Shen top lane in the new patch, and I'm going to showcase you guys exactly on how you can carry with Shen. So this game we're playing is the Pantheon. Um, what we have is Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Revitalize. Then we also have Cheap Shot, and then we also have Ultimate Hunter. Now this matchup, it's absolutely crucial to have Dorn Shield because it's like a perma-poking matchup. It's not going to be an easy matchup at all. <clears throat> Like, depending on the matchup, you want to, like, adapt your starter. Like, some matchups actually uh, allows you to go Longsword slash D-Blade, where other matchups, like Pantheon matchup, it's just way too valuable. You know, having a D-Shield dramatically improves the laning phase. This is exactly one of those matchups. So. Now, there is a couple things that we need to think about. Usually, when you play Shen, you want to play very aggressive. A lot of matchups are highly favored for you. Um, this matchup, however, is very different. Pantheon is like one of the champions that beats early game. It's specifically what he's designed for. He needs to win early game slash roam to make the champ work. Um, we, on the other hand, we have something that Pantheon does not have. Um, we have the ability to like set up the lane for gangs like very easily with my E. And then we also have my ultimate for rotating as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play around my strengths here. We're just going to play the setup. Um, we're going to make it as gankable as possible. And play around a big wave. Because around big waves, we can actually win the trades. But when the, the wave is like too big for Pantheon, um, I won't be able to trade him. There's no way. I'll just be avoiding his trades for now. Don't be too scared to like hit your Q, guys, when you play Shen. Uh, oh, I missed that one. Whoops. Um, when you play Shen and you're going to go for the last hit and you think you're about to get poked, make sure you actually cast in your shield. Um, that way um, you can block the damage. Most of the time, any any person that sees you last hit, they will try and poke you. When it's like a, a champ like Pantheon. So keep that in mind. We're going to take the... Um, we're going to take the wave to stack up here. So we're going to auto it a couple times. I want the wave to be as big as possible. Um, so once Pantheon walks in, he won't be able to fight me. That's what we're aiming for. We also have a Zac like pathing top lane. Pretty good. Now we gotta be very careful. Oh, I messed up my W a little bit. This should be very good. I'm gonna cast my potion here. Because we have a Zac pathing top side. And the wave is currently shoving into this guy. I think he's got no wards either. Very good trade. Very good trade. And we already got him by myself. Cool. I probably didn't even have to flash, but just to be sure, I would actually land it. Yeah, I certainly don't mind using it. Nice. Now we need to find out a way to shove the lane out. Um, we're just going to be pretty tough to do, I will have to admit, because we do not have a lot of wave clear. And Pantheon will make it, uh, will get back top soon. I do not have the ability to push this in. So we have... I'm just pinging up here because Zach is ready. I think we can probably catch Pantheon on his way back. Hmm. Well, does he have passive? No. Yeah, he does have passive. He could jump in. He should just jump in, to be honest with you. You should try. Let's do it. Give it a chance. If I dash in, I'm going to die right now. Ah, this is never going to work. It's working? Okay, GG. Wow. I don't really know what to say here. <laughs> I need some help here to... I need Zach to shove this out. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, I appreciate the push. Oh, the dream jungle. Listens to my ping to push it out. I like that so much. Nice. I needed that one. 
sometimes guys you need to shove the lane in you need your jungler to help if your jungler does not help you in this case i would actually start losing lane again so sometimes you just have to ping your jungler guys there's no other way around it sometimes you just need your jungler like these are one of these uh these moments where you just need him I, I could let the wave bounce into me, but it's way better if I just take that wave along with my jungle and then shove that in. It's just way better. Um, only thing I wished for is, you know, letting my jungle do that faster, but I'm quite happy he still did it, so. Hello there, Limerhan. Hey, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the three months resub. Welcome back, Limer. So now we have my ultimate available, which means the uh, lane is now going to change up a little bit. We also have a sweet little advantage. You'll notice. Um, there is a thing with pressing ult on Shen that you have to know. Do not press R when the wave is not in your favor. Um, I'm going to showcase you what I am mean with this. So if I were to press R right now, I would actually start losing lane because I would lose all the last hits and Penthing can do whatever he wants with the wave and it's going to be like out of my favor, right? If I had TP, it would be different, but we don't have that right now. So what we're going to do is we are not pressing my ultimate. We're going to keep my ultimate right now um, because if I were to use my ultimate right now, I just throw away my entire lane phase. This is where most Shen players go wrong. Because most Shen players, they press R whenever needed, but that's not how you play Shen. That's a very bad way of playing Shen. You need to have like a, um, you need to know exactly what you're doing um, with the macro play before you ult. Always know what you're doing beforehand. Make like a tiny little plan, otherwise you're gonna mess up. So you see, like we're not pressing R. I'm focusing on the lane here. I do not want my lane to go bad. Um, we have a Twitch pathing topside. And I got my E back soon. I think I might get a kill here. Hmm. I think that Twitch is not very interested. I could E here. Yep. Nice. I think we can actually beat him right here. Especially with Twitch. Oh, he's dead already. Cool. So now he's dead. Pretty good. So... A lot of Shen players would go wrong here. Just saying beforehand. Uh, we had a lot of fights in bar lane. I could have teleported. I could have used my ultimate. But we're not doing it. Because I do not want to give in my lane phase here. Um, same thing with Twitch. Like, Twitch was going for the Herald. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. And now we press R. So this, this is how you play with the Shen ultimate. Specifically right here. We shove mid lane, I mean top lane. We shove top lane. The wave gets under tower. Now we're not losing anything. We're not losing the wave, we're not losing plates, we're not losing anything. Plus, we're ulting down mid lane, we're getting a catch because I'm ulting mid lane, and then we also get a kill or an assist for it. Without losing anything, we haven't lost a single thing, in fact we made mid lane win even harder this way. This is how you use Shen ultimate. You want to use it in an aggressive way. You want to ult at the time when you're not going to lose anything. Because, like, that's the most optimal way of using the ultimate, so... It's sort of like you're using teleport um, before, you know, when it when you could teleport anywhere in the past, you know. Sort of like the same strategy. Always using it aggressively. Oh, we stack the wave up again. We got heart steel. There you go. Hey, Limerhand, thank you also for sending a sub gift, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Always amazing when you guys are like sub gifting. Also, Selegrim, thank you for the resub two months, man. I'll get into your message in a second. Thank you for the resub, man. We gotta be careful about jungle here. I wanna try and hit proc, but I do not wanna jump directly into a pantheon. 
Um, Space of War down. Donus. Hey, thank you too, man, for the subprime. Lots of subprimes this game, by the way. Literally my first game today. I want to hit my proc. He's expecting me to jump in, I'm sure of it. Wait a second. I got Twitch, like walking topside. I'm not gonna dive because there's literally no reason for to do that. I think we can dive him because his W is on cooldown. Ah, he's flashing away. Okay, smart guy. Okay. Well, I got no passive yet, but that's okay. I got my ultimate now, right before. <laughs> or, I mean, right after they die. Sweet. The timing was really bad. Anyway, we shove, then we get back. The next item we're going to buy is going to be the Titanic Hydra, or... It's, uh... Okay. You can go in. I'm gonna let him take that wave. And we're gonna head back. And yeah, let's go, Baby Cinder. So again, like, this is not the most optimal ultimate, as you could see, because we did push in the lane. But, um, as we approached bot lane with my ultimate, we are actually now losing plates. So it's not really worth it, if you ask me here. But, um, again, it's not that bad, because uh, they also did not get any plates. So it's not that bad. It's, uh, it's okay. And he's dead. Cool. Now I start taking the wave. So you see, like, Shen is more than just what you guys think, right? This is the reason why Shen is rated as, in, like, an S-tier champion. Because you can play lane out. You have all abilities needed to, like, play the lane out. And then on top of that, you have your ultimate, which constantly allows you to make plays across the map. So... You're sort of like playing like two roles at the same time. It's just that a lot of people, they don't know how to play Shen. Because what people think is that you just gotta hit R as soon as your teammate's about to die. But like, that's not how Shen works. Shen is more complicated than people think. But if you know how it works, it's uh, pretty OP. Like you need to be really good at like... Uh, uh, at like the macro part of this game and then the, the better you get like macro wise uh, the better the champion also becomes Good trades, they can't really fight me. I got my passive. Oh I underestimate this guy's uh, <laughs> Damage right now gotta get a reset done Okay I got my ultimate available. Need to press R because otherwise this guy dies. I'll get an assist included. At least I hope I will. Nice, and now we reset immediately, getting a proc as well. Plates are gone right now, so Pantheon is not getting any pl any plates anymore. Which means that this, this rotation is very good. Press on. Doing an ultimate like that is acceptable if your opponent, you know, can no longer get the plates because it's way different at that point. There is. Uh, as for the message, hello Dave, nice to see you again. Thanks for all the YouTube videos. Keep it up, man. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for that message and the resub. Got you. I think he flashed. 
But I'm not sure. It looked like he flashed because I flashed. And I think he also flashed. But I'm not sure anymore. I think I did. Alright. So. Your turret has been destroyed. An ally has been slain. After the tower. We'll try and get the wave, but th I think there might be a rotation of the enemy team. Possibly. I need to be a little careful here because they could be rotating. Uh, yeah, there is the ultimate. I think I can probably get a really good jump off. Well, we can keep autoing like this. Sure. Yeah, he's dead. A lot of people don't expect the damage from Shen. The, the, the thing is, like, we don't really have... Like, if you would look at the build, it looks like we don't have any damage. But the thing is, like, everything does damage. Like, that's the funny part. It's not what, what people think. Um, walk forward. Ah, oh, he didn't walk forward. Okay, let's go back here. So, yeah, like, a lot of people don't really think about this, but every item you buy in Shen does damage in some way or another. Um, for instance, uh, when you build Heart Steel, the Heart Steel does damage, because you proc it, it does damage. Sunfire is a, another, just one of those tank items. You would think it does no damage, but uh, Sunfire does a lot of damage, actually. Um, unsurprising a lot. Like, it's... it's uh, Way more than you think. Um, that's two items. When you build a Thormill, Thormill also does damage. So you have like three tank items that actually do damage. So yeah, think about that for a second. Like all these items you're building does damage. And heart st like then you have Titanic Hydra. Uh, I mean, not Titanic Hydra. I mean, um, yeah, Titanic, uh, which also does damage. So yeah. I have my E available. But yeah, every item you buy in Shen does damage. Titanic Hydra does also damage as well. Lots of damage, in fact. I don't think it's gonna walk up. Well, one proc basically kills this guy. I definitely cannot catch him, but... I'll stay close to him, so he doesn't get to reset. <clears throat> I got my ultimate in 20. Thankfully though, I didn't get ganked by the enemy jungle this game at all. Like, not even one gank yet. Shen is not really a champion that people want to gank, either. Like... Wow, I did not expect that was gonna work, to be honest with you. Well, it would have been very surprising if I also hit that one. <laughs> I got my ultimate available right now. Let's see if we can make a play with it. Twitch is mid. <clears throat> Tread carefully. I need to get Thormel next, but I also need to get a Titanic Hydra. I think I want to get Titanic Hydra for the for pushing. It just makes it easier. Uh, gets damage as well, which is always useful. There's a, a fight on Drake. I'm focusing on the map here, seeing what's going to happen, because a fight's about to break out. If he walks closer, I'm going to tank it for him. Okay. Again, an aggressive play. You see what we're doing here. We're always playing the Shen ultimate in an aggressive way. I'm never... I never use my ultimate in a defensive way. If I see a fight being bad, I am not going to press my R. I will not, because then I will die as well. Always use Shen ultimate aggressively. Never, never when you, whenever when there's a potential risk, you're going to die along with it. There's no reason to do it. Or like when you're like losing waves or something like that. It's just not worth it.
Oh, he's about to die. He will never live. Yeah, there you go. No matter what he did there, he would die. So let's take like another wave here. We got 1.8k. So I go. Okay. So time to get back. Now we have a choice to make. Do we go Thormill or do we go Titanic Hydra? Now, I think it's personally a lot better to go Titanic Hydra. And the simple reason for that, it's really simple. When you look at their team, they're half AD, half AP. If I were to go for a Thormill right now, I would only counter Tristana and I would only counter Pantheon. Everybody else is AP. At least AP, this guy's AP, this guy's AP. So if I build Thormill, what am I building it for, right? It's still a very solid item because I'm still countering the ADC with it, but um, they have such a mixed like team with everything that it's better for me right now as it currently stands to go Titanic Hydra because then I get a weak clear uh, damage and I get more HP as well to tank everybody. So it's got more play for it. It's got a lot more play. If they were like full AD, however, so let's say like a Yasuo mid, Yone top or something like that. I don't know, Fjord top, Riven top, I don't know. Can't, like any champion really, like having a Cossack Jung or something like that. Then it's more, a lot better to go Thormel because you're literally counting five people with it. So. Oh, yeah, there it is. I could see which one the real one was because of the Heartsteel proc. It's very easy to tell. Let's go after this one. I think I can catch her. She does not have teleport. Oh, that's the real one. You can just see which... Like, it's funny because the heart steel proc literally tells you what the real one is. Because that one will proc first before the other one does. <laughs> so I can always tell which one the real one is. Okay. I do not have to press R because they're already catching them and nobody's dying, so I'm staying here. I need to run from this one because I got Sunfire and Sunfire does damage on Pantheon under tower, which means I'm going to take tower damage. I'm using my W very late because he used the ability. There's no reason for me to press it sooner. My teammates are getting Baron, which is very good. Nice. Good catch. I am not going to go for a play until I see where everybody is. Now I can go for it. Okay. Well, you walk away? Sure. Uh, Twitch can still go for the play. I just don't think he knows it. Yep. And I got my passive ready. I got Twitch. Uh, I got Twitch here too, but... Nah, I suppose I could try and bait. Nah, never mind. He doesn't have to go for Pantheon. There's no reason. Uh, let's go Bremble. Our wills align. They don't really have much healing, but they have some, so it's still it's still worth buying. Uh, Drake is spawning in 45, so I'm going to be pathing top lane. Yeah, what can I say, right? <laughs> I tried saving it with my ultimate because if I were to walk into that, I could actually kill all of them with my team because they were all prepared. But this guy died so quickly that my ultimate just didn't even work. 
So yeah, there's not much you can do about it. We have the lane pushed in here, which is pretty good. Uh, this will be a very good catch. Uh, I need my team to be ready here. I don't think they are. Uh, I don't know. Should have used it sooner. I, I wanted to get in the position. I should have used it sooner. Whatever. Okay, allow me to explain the situation here. This is so stupid. I was in I was in place. I was ready. I was completely ready to make the play happen. But then Twitch and Zach they went bot lane to try and get one catch. So we were basically left out in this really good position here with my AD carry. And then we both die for it. That was actually very, very sad because that was going to be such a good play, actually. But they, these guys, prioritize ball lane. But yeah. Bad play by them. I managed to get out, but apparently Zek doesn't do any damage at all, which is surprising. Wait, dies. Oh man. No, oh, we got the catch. It's not that bad after all. Still have my ultimate too. Nice. Walk forward. Okay, good catch. There's a Pantheon right on our back here. Uh, we shouldn't be going for the chase on Pantheon. That's not worth it. Got the tower. I think we can... Nah, they shouldn't be doing this, man. Like, that's bad. You're gonna die. I'm just gonna leave him. Such a bad play, man. Like, it was super mega predictable that Tristana was spawning. I don't think he paid attention to the respawn timer. That's such a basic mistake that a lot of people make. Like, you, you, take, an in, you take an objective, but people just somehow want to go in further. For no reason, like there's nothing on the line of whether you kill them or not, like it doesn't change anything. Hmm. Always keep in mind, guys, when you take an objective, whether it's Drake, Baron, Tower, Inhib, like whatever it is, like don't overextend because it's like the number one reason people lose games. Overextending is the worst thing you can do. Just buy items, come back strong. Refresh your mind, right, after taking the objective, right? I need to get back in top, but also bot lane. I actually want to get back in top lane, but if, if they get that catch, it's going to be a good one. Well, it looks like they're not getting the catch. I got my ultimate available if needed. I'm bot lane here. Got my ultimate available. Well, yeah, I can tank a lot of damage from this guy. Yeah, there you go. I think that the game is pretty much done from here, because we just killed <laughs> pretty much everybody. They're all dead for like 20 seconds. Yeah.
Yep, the game is done. They're still spawning. Like five seconds for Pantheon. Nice. Hey, this is Shen Top Lane. Thanks as so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.